What's up guys, we are back with some more Persona 3 Reload and we're gonna head over to Tartarus just because we have the new Arcana cards to use, we have this new Theurgy thing to do, and we can also start exploring from floor 42 and up. So I just wanted to kind of get us started there for this video and you'll just see me skipping around to either certain fights, uh, I guess we'll call them Guardian fights, or maybe if I make it all the way to the next floor, we'll stop there and I'll just go all the social links like off screen type of thing because Honestly, that eats up a lot of the damn time for this game. So, hope you guys enjoy and, you know, sit back and relax. Ultimate Major Arcana cards have been added to the shuffle time. Empress, the endurance, agility, and luck of personas in your possession will increase by two. The strength and magic of your persona in your possession will increase by two. Okay, so it's good to get those to increase, like, our stats. Uh, for personas that I'm having, I have Oberon still. Not much really changed in like the party, uh, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep Orphis with us, upgrade his uh, stats and skills as I can, because like I said, I got his magic and agility up at 24. Uh, that 24, I guess, for agility is from some piece of uh, equipment I have, maybe my weapon or something. Not too sure, but I eventually plan to like upgrade him more and more and more. So we'll just see how things go with that. Um, I might end up just putting fire on him too, because I think for like the team at least, uh, I don't know why it's not showing them equipped on. Maybe I gotta talk to them. Hey. Let's go. So I gotta talk to them, I guess, to have them added to the party. Yep, come through. And then Thanks we'll so make we our way up. up. Or anyone who could come to our aid in the event of an emergency. And don't forget what happened during the last full moon. We can't leave Yamagishi alone. I'll leave it up to you to decide on the party members. I know you can handle it. I'll do everything I can to help. Let's give it our best. I mean, how many, how many floors do we have to get to to get to the next region, I guess? Leader, do you have a moment? I'd like to share something I found out about using Theurgy. Theurgy can't be used just any time. The user has to reach an emotional peak first. In other words, Theurgy can only be built used after enough power has been built up. Also, how someone builds up this power is different depending on the person. For Kirijo Senpai, it's when she inflicts status ailments on an enemy, but for Yukari-chan, it's when she heals someone. Try out different things and see what works for different teammates. Theurgy is very powerful. We'll definitely want to use it as much as we can. Theurgy gauge will increase throughout battle whenever you attack or summon a persona. How much the Theurgy gauge increases will vary from ally to ally, acting according to a party member's personality. Will cause their Theurgy gauge to increase significantly. Luka has a Theurgy gauge. Once it's maxed, you'll be able to activate her Theurgy during her party member's turn. However, the gauge will stop increasing when you get afflicted with a status ailment, and it will drop by half whenever you get KO'd. Let's move out. Okay. And when it comes down to the Theurgy uh, for the team... Damn, let me go to stats. There we go. So we could check... Uh, well, I think I want to make all these ones direct commands first. Uh, but we could check the status. We look at Theurgy. Personality says, after healing someone, her desire to prevent death strengthens. Junpei, after laying a critical hit, he becomes motivated by his own potential. After strengthening himself, his fighting spirit rises. After weakening enemies or inflicting an ailment, her will burns brighter. So, we have to have certain, certain skills used by them in combat in order to help them grow uh, the Theurgy Bar. Remember Girl, we just got here. Be quiet. This area ends here, and now there's a dead end. Was she able to get past it? Could you check? Yeah, we should be, because, uh... Old girl done let us know. Here it is. Please watch out. Okay. Looks kind of gross. <sighs> Looks like the shaking has subsided. Is everyone alright? The path towards the staircase opened up. You can advance further now. We don't know what's waiting ahead, so please, be careful going all forward. Right. Made it to the next stage. Let's see how far my fist can carry me. Alrighty. Thank you. I remember how helpless I felt being here alone. Oh, there's a treasure chest. That was quick. And we got we a fight up here. Something. I don't know their weaknesses yet. Can you do? have something else? 
We've never fought you guys before. Fire's your thing. I mean, I kind of have a feeling that it's already going to be uh, ice. <laughs> And I don't want to switch to Jack Frost, honestly. Yep. Those gauges, though, on like uh, the characters, though, looks pretty badass, honestly. Oh, we can get a a new one. Bulletproof vest. I already have those, huh? Oh, I guess you don't have it. I appreciate it. Good to know. Oh, it's a strong one. Can she use her theurgy though already? I think that's kind of like what that showed, right? Oh, okay, so wins its weakness. Good to know. His thing says that it's when he increases his stats, right? So, like, how come he doesn't have anything for that yet? That's kind of weird. Uh, or am I just, like, kind of overthinking it? Alright. Good to know. Yeah, I think we can use uh, Oak Girl's Theurgy, so we'll check that out. Kind of works out that we're doing it on like a strong enemy too. Oh, we can't. Wait, how far up does this bar go? Because it looks like it's like full, right? Okay. Guess not. We'll, we'll try it out on another one. But it looks like the gauge like carries over to like the next fights. It would suck if you had to restart each time. So before a boss fight, it's going to be good to... Damn. We'll get the Arcana cards. Always good to get these cards first. So that way you can increase the level for these uh, shuffle time cards as you progress through dungeons. Dang, 800. That was pretty damn good. I need to get that passive though that has me get the the auto auto attack up on Orphus because I don't like switching back and forth like that, honestly. Amethyst, okay. It seems like the total area can vary by floor. Here's hoping the next floors will be smaller. That way we'll progress even faster. I feel like he kind of just jinxed it. Enemy spotted. So I don't think we're going to get smaller floors now, guys. Two enemies. You can do it. 
time. Maybe I'll put ice on him. I don't think I really need Zeo anymore. Or maybe take off uh, Torunda because we have that on someone else now. I think the EXP wants to be worth it more now. Cause it's kind of easy to like grind it up. Oh, we got one of these dudes. So I'll, I'll use EXP on that one. But we get shuffle time. It shows us where it's at too. And it was over, it ran to some stairs too. Damn, why can't we use that? <laughs> oh, okay, it has to say max. That's how we know we can use it. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, it blocks that. Okay. Good to know. I think I have a persona that has dark, right? Yeah, it's this dude. And then it's like, of course you, of course you don't end up giving me like EXP as an option here. That was going to get it like a nice boost there. What is this? 2000? Yeah. We could have got way more. That was excellent leadership. Yeah, we'll go to the next floor. Ah, cool. Cause boss fight. By full analysis, I'll be able to give you a complete breakdown of enemy weakness on the spot. And remember that I can use Theurgy as well. Hopefully, it'll come in handy. Well, this is it. Stay safe and good luck, team. I'm here if you need it. Once Fuka's Theurgy gauge is maxed, press touchpad to activate their Theurgy Oracle during the party's turn. Using Oracle will benefit the party in battle with effects such as HP recovery, SP recovery, and stat buffs. Oracle can be activated during any party member's turn. Try to use it when you feel the time is right. Okay. We'll go down here and save real quick before it like ends up whooping my ass. I'll start off with Oberon for the, the attack boost. And let's get it. We already got uh, Mitsuru maxed out on her Theurgy too as well, so we can test that out i want to first like find out the weakness of the enemy before i use it well then again it ignores resistance so it kind of doesn't matter right oh we'll just use it right now off the bat let's see this animation okay y'all gotta admit that was that was pretty nice but all stats are up cool uh we will
lower its attack. Oh, and then you just cancel that out. All right. Anything resist this? Okay, he resists. Are y'all just gonna buff his attack like the whole time like this? All right, guys, we're gonna use it. Okay, that was badass. Holy crap, that did a lot. Makuga, that, um, a holy. Okay, reflects that. Can we analyze? No, we can't, damn. We gotta do it on like the next turn. Now we can we can save that. So that's what our theurgy does. It heals up for 50% health, uh, increases accuracy evasion for all allies. So that could be good, but I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter when we use it. Might as well use it to free up the gauge for later. Or is it because of my persona combinations? I don't have Asperus in my party. Why did Asperus show up there? That's interesting i'll say i wonder if she can heal more uh we can do it now right so you're weak to dark all right good to know Are you summoning more of these things? Okay. We'll shift to my dude because I'm the only one apparently that can can deal. <laughs> yep. Because now we got the, the all out next. Buka definitely is useful for boss fights. That's like what it's best to say. But 6k! Holy! Epic Blaze power has grown. Now he can hold up to 10 personas. Say less. Medium ice to one enemy. Okay. I can't let my guard down, especially not around those gatekeepers. I've never seen you with your guard down though, not even in the dorm. When we're up late on a mission, I've never even seen you yawn, much less doze off. And the next day, you're all dressed up and drinking black tea before heading to school 15 minutes later. Yours? Yeah, like you stalk her. Uh, uh, no, not really. When you live in the same dorm, you start to pick some things up. No. Once it becomes a habit, it's all second nature. True. Besides, wouldn't you find it offensive if I were to take it easy? After all, I'm the one asking you all to attempt the impossible when taking part in these club activities. Huh? Asking us, huh? What's the matter? Oh, um, nothing. She thought she was just barking orders. Later, we've beaten them, so let's move on. Hurry, clock's ticking. Sure is. So, that was pretty neat, though, for that fight. I definitely am ready to see. Let you know when I pinpoint their location. I'm definitely ready to see what the other uh, squad's stuff is.
boxing shoes. Yeah, that's definitely for him. And then, what's like the benefit of these boxing shoes? Agility plus two plus ice evasion low. Or plus ice evasion. Okay. I'll give it to you. We need that uh, agility there. Best to stay on your toes here. As expected, my abilities are much better suited for the front lines. There's a chef. We fought one of these before, right? Oh, now we don't know what his weakness is? That's weird. Oh, hello. Nice work. We've secured the perimeter. We still have some time to spare before the shadows reappear. It should be a little safe for you to scout ahead right now. Yeah, what? One person will split from the party to scout the floor. Oh, so we get this feature later. Because in Persona 3, you get it uh, in like the first like five to ten floors, I think. Exploring would be more efficient if we divide and conquer. Going solo makes it easier to evade shadows as well. And if the scout can locate the stairs, it'd make everyone's lives a lot easier. So what do you think? Should we ask someone to scout ahead? Salut. Allow me, don't worry. I'll clear a path for us. All right, let, let's see how that looks. After combat, you may have the opportunity to scout. If you decide to scout the area, one of your teammates will temporarily leave your party to look for a path to the next floor. The allies scouting ahead will also collect items and hand over anything that you've collected upon rejoining the party on the next floor. Note that you will be down a party member if you choose to scout. I mean, we, we, we know where it's at though. That's like the funny thing, right? But that's good to know. Hello. Faster ways of finding uh, the staircase. Good, we've rendezvoused. I've already gone ahead and done some reconnaissance. I also found this. Put it to good use. Archivine, Arca Mineral. Stuff to sell. It seems like you all met up safely. Thank you for scouting ahead. There's a strong enemy on the next floor. Be careful. It's always good to have Fuka have her uh, SP ready and like available for us. Woo, woo, woo. Gotta get away. <laughs> oh okay yeah this looks like it'll be a problem feel on stamina do consider going back at least now we can fast travel to this floor we're 21 let me see what other persona i can make real quick for that fight Okay, y'all, I came in here and then they stopped me and said, You appear to have gained a new power. I believe you called it Theurgy. Now that you've become even stronger, you should be able to battle more efficiently and exquisitely with your multiple personas. As you acquire more personas to fill the compendium, you'll open your mind to new battle stratagems. For the time being, you do seem to wield your new power quite effectively. Oh, so we can have multiple... Uh, at least just for our character, we could have multiple theurgies. So we have the one that restores, and now we also have this one that says deal medium almighty damage to all foes, high chance of inflicting down. And almighty is something that nothing resists in the game. Fusion spell is a special theurgy unique to epic that comes from fusing certain personas. Fusion spells can be acquired by registering certain personas in the compendium. Once these conditions are met, Elizabeth will inform you of a new fusion spell you can use inside the Velvet Room. Oh. Welcome Alrighty. To the Velvet Room. Well, that's good to know. We'll definitely try to get as many Persona as we can then to unlock these uh, Theurgy fusion skill thingy majiggers. But, like I said, about to do some fusion. I'll cut it so you guys don't see that shit. Alright, guys. I finished up some fusion, and I thought about this cool combination I was able to get. Uh... Pretty much summoning this Take Minakata. So it at default already had the auto Rakuku Raku Kaja skill, which automatically gives me the defense buff. And then I use Oberon to make the fusion. So I ended up getting the auto Taru Kaja to also get the attack buff too. So now it looks like this will at least be like how I start off 
uh, for the most part. And another thing too I changed on Orphis is uh, I ended up getting rid of Zeo because I already have it on something else. And so I just decided, you know, get rid of that crap and focus Electric on maybe another Persona. Uh, so I instead put Invigorate on so that way I can get some SP each turn. I stupidly forgot to freaking duplicate this thing, but it's fine because actually I can just register and he'll always have Invigorate one on him at least. So I'm hoping to get that upgraded later on, but we're about to go do this boss fight up here, our Guardian fight. I really don't want to call it a boss fight because I want to call boss fights more so like the stuff we do on full moons. So let's see how this goes. And we have the, uh, the new Theurgy skill to try out as well. Anything weak to wind? No One is weak to wind. I'm ready to go. I want to see if that other one's going to be weak to thunder then. Nope. But damn, you got a fast. Tadakaja, you're raising your attack. You're raising the attack. So we got... Profligate Gigas. Time to take action. Well, they're both. Still up. It'll take a more time. I don't know. They're both weak to wind. So why didn't the other one go down? Weird. What's the plan? Element susceptibility up. One step at a time. I'll go with. Oh, he did a lot of damage there. Damn, we're still in the first turn. Damn, girl. I need to know now. Oh, you block ice? You literally have no weaknesses? What the hell? Alright, so I guess our thing is going to be taking these dudes out. <laughs> That's my assumption. Is that going to hurt? Damn. Yeah, that did kind of hurt. Oh, they're targeting the same girl, too. This one, we ignore resistances. Three sixty six. All right. Oh. Gotta get her some more health there. Cause they really trying to take her out. What to do? I'm glad I upped the magic on Orphus. He's really damn clutch. <laughs> and then we got this one to do almighty to everybody. Okay.
Damn, that did a lot. And we got the the stun too. That was a nice way to finish it off. 7k. Woo! We got Orphus to 13. Oh, uh, she got a better heal. A new skill. Gonna have to try it out. Okay, so now we have basically the skill for him to up his theurgy faster. That's good. Gatekeeper eliminated. No other shadow activity detected in the vicinity. Roger that. Seems like we'll be able to take a small breather here. You sure look happy today, Mitsuru. Let me guess, you had a lot of stress pent up for being stuck as support this whole time. Not that. Not at all. I was just thinking about how Yamagashi sounds so dependable. Huh? I do? Or Yamagishi. The connection is stable. You accurately predict the shadow's locations, too. You're exactly what we need. Don't you think so, Two Blades? You're exaggerating. Right now, I'm just trying to keep up with everyone. But I'll do my best to meet your expectations. You better. Or else. Or else. Now that we're all rested, shall we keep going? Okay, I've got your back, so let's move out once everyone's ready. Yeah, let's... My visual field has expanded a little. Maybe I got oh, really? Okay. But guys, I'm going to end the episode off right here just before I get too deep into the weeds like that. But, you know, next episode we're going to keep going further into Tartarus just because our SP is still looking good. I have some SP recovery as well. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know I am. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel to let me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.